Hello everybody and welcome back to the Sunday Race Off. We're back here for another round at Sonoma with a slightly higher skill set. And now, sorry about that, I can hear an echo of my own voice, which is always entertaining. So yeah, we're back here at Sonoma. Should be a very entertaining race to say the least. And the best thing is now that we're starting to really up the tempo. We know we're getting a lot more talented drivers coming in. The talent's ever increasing, the competition's ever increasing, the race length. It's also upped by another two laps. We've got some new faces and a couple of familiar ones as well. If you're an avid watcher of the Sunday race off, we've got Locatello, who's locking out the front row at the moment. He's got himself on pole position by a massive gap of three tenths at the moment. To tune there in P3, we've got Bellinas again, another accomplished Evo racer. So could be one to watch out for. He sits in P3. And we've just actually had pole position snatcher by Exizen. If I should uh, pronounce that right, I'll call it Zizen. I think Zizen's probably how that's pronounced with the silent X. So Zizen is in pole or Zizme? Zizme. In pole position at the moment. He's 1.9 tenths at the moment. And just remember as well that there was no 129s last time in this session. So 131s two races ago, 130s at the moment. And now in this session, 129 ones. The times are increasing so much. So we've all got, well, the top five are in a 129. That is absolutely terrific. Five minutes of qualifying left. In fact, the top six now as Crass Action gets in there as well. So Zizen's at the top of the time, she's Locatello second, Nathan third, fourth place Bellinus, fifth place Tatoon, sixth place Crass Action, seventh four banger 75, eighth place Lionheart 88, Lone Wolf Gam makes it into P9, hasn't set a lap yet, KKND in tenth, Crash HMF in P11, and they're out your runners thus far, but already it's looking like it's going to be a very interesting final few minutes. The front five separated by no more than seven tenths of a second. So it's definitely picking up the speed here. We know what these guys are capable of. Let's see what Lone Wolfgang can do then. Of course, again, a very accomplished Sunday race off. Driver, he's driven his Evos. He's driven in countless other cars in B races. So let's see what he can do. And into the final part of section one. That's Bellini has gone very wide there. But they're trying to keep an eye on if there's any traffic situation. Still Locatello now back up. Wow, in front of Zizen. He actually improved the time by four tenths of a second. So four tenths there. And then he's got a second back to Nathan. 1.1 back to Tatoon in P5. So already a very, very... Big upstart there for Locatello. He's got himself in a very nice position in the final three minutes or so of this qualifying session. All those drivers in the top five have all done four laps as well. The only driver as an exception is KKND. Lone Wolf Gam currently P uh, P10 on a 130.950. is going quite slowly there. So there's luckily no cars near him, we don't think, so it's not the be-all, end-all of the world. There's good stuff going again now. He may be trying to let someone slew, uh, through or get a slipstream or something of the nature. By the way, let's see what he can produce. Then he comes across the time again. So as as you say, second place to Toons in P3, doing a fairly good job there at the moment. Nathan Alpha, P4. Bellinas down to 5th. Crash Action 6th. Crash HMF in P7. 4 Banger in P8. Lionheart 88 in ninth. Lone Wolf Gam still P10. On a lap as well at the moment. So 
So as the session does come to a close, and we've got about a minute 30 seconds left of this session, and just seeing now that all drivers actually out on circuit. So everyone desperate to try and get themselves in a good starting grip. We know exactly how competitive this is. And we've got our first 128 of the day. We said the time's improving, the track condition's improving. Locatello, a 128 at the moment. Let's see what he can do as time wears on, but right now he's looking in a very strong position. He will also get one more lap as well, as he's here. The session ends in about one minute. So there you can see he crosses the line now and he doesn't improve. He'll start another lap though. Zyme, this will be his final lap to tune. I think it will be as well. Nathan Alpha, quite possibly. Bellinus, it will be. Now, look at this. This is quite interesting. Lone is trying to set a competitive time. And at the moment, it's kind of a bit of traffic there for Crash HMF. Crash finds himself currently in P6 and he can't get past Lone Wolf. Is that a sign of things to come if a race goes badly? Will he be fine stuck down in P8 or P9? Or can he navigate his way through? Either way, this session is going to a close very rapidly. Lone Wolf's back in the pit lane. A lot of the other drivers still out on circuit at the moment. Let's keep an eye on what Zizem's doing. He's coming towards the end of his qualifying session right now. So Tatoon's done his lap, he's not able to improve there, unfortunately. Bellinus also goes P4, Nathan's fifth, let's see what Crash can do. Stay sixth, Crash action, is it going to come towards the end of his lap momentarily? Four banger, doesn't improve. Ninth place for Lionheart 88. The time coming towards the end, let's see what Locatello can do then. He comes down the start, finish straight, and he doesn't improve, but keeps his position. Zizem also can't improve, I think. That's pretty much a solidified order. I think that's going to be it then. So Locatello is the man on pole position. Zyme's in second. And then you've got Tatoon in P3. Don't forget, guys, don't go anywhere. We're going to go to a short one-minute warm-up session. And we'll be right back with you. Okay, we're back then for the official race. The drivers line up on their grid spots for a 12-lap sprint around Sonoma Raceway. No pit stops, just a flat-out 12-lap sprint. Locatello will be the man on pole position who still hasn't taken to his grid spot. There we go. So, Locatello logs out the front row. To tune to his behind. Let's keep an eye on the grid. It's a very, very narrow pit straight. And now we're going to have a very tense few seconds 
as the lights begin to illuminate. We've got three, we've got four, and then now we have power at Sonoma. Attitude's got a bit of a poor start. Belina's had a very good start there, going around the outside as a field power into the very short run into turn one. No contact this far. Bit of side by side action now. That's with Crash, I think. The two and Bellinas getting side by side. Now Crash fancies a bit of the action, trying to sneak through. Couldn't quite get it done though. Still very clean start, but all the parties involved there. So we'll see how that pans out. Just as I say that, a bit of a nudge by Nathan Alpha. Fort Banger taking the bunt of that one. And he's not going to like that at all as they flow down to the next corner. They're almost three wide back there. I've got a car well wide. Who's that rejoining? That's Bellinas, who is, uh, believe us, not gone too well at that stage, if you pardon the pun. Nathan up the inside of Crash, who tries to cut back across. There was nothing really doing there. And again, they have to try and sort themselves out into an order quickly. They're side by side, and it's getting very congested. Bellinas able to make the most of that situation and get himself back through the field. Crashing Lionheart there also. Oh, and there's a contact. Crash goes flying round. Decelerating. Oh, and Crash is in the wall as well. Lone Wolf. Fred. Oh, and Lone Wolf's in the wall. And KKND. And there is Carnage here at Sonoma. And it's Lone Wolf who's stuck in the wall at the moment. KKND gets his car going again, but Crash action plays off. Four bangers somehow makes his way through it, but... Those few corners alone really did define the opening lap. Very, very tense times here at Sonoma. So Nathan Alpha now on the outside of Bellinas. He's gone again. Very up close and personal to him. Taking none of that here today. Round the outside of the next corner. And that was no way going to happen. He had to be very careful through there. That was for sure. Comes back on the inside. And off goes Nathan Alpha. And it really has turned into the Brisker F1 League. Brisker, if you're not too sure, is the almost sort of stock car equivalent of Formula 1, which takes place on the dirt ovals. It's a mixture of NASCAR and banger racing. And Lone Wolf said he can't believe he's made contact in the chat. He's out of the race. Very unfortunate, but we're sure we'll be back fighting next week. Very uncharacteristic there of Lone Wolf again. I'm sure we'll be back next week fighting stronger. Battle at the front also taking a turn for the worst as Locatello is getting pressured now by Zizem. Let's see what Zizmi can do as he tries to desperately fight for a way up the inside of the hairpin. And he's going to be careful. We don't want to see any more incidents. We're only a tenth of the way into the race as Zizem tries to get alongside down the main straight. I say straight, it's more of a curved straight to say the least. But back in the slipstream he goes. Through turn one. And there's not much really you can go through there. Up the inside. Trying to force maybe Locatello to get wide. He didn't really have the intention of going for a manoeuvre. So Locatello, Zizme, Tatoon, Bellinas, Nathan Alpha, Lionheart, Fallbanger, Crash, HF. And crash action and KNND are our runners so far. 10 runners out of 11 starters. The only retirement being Lone Wolf Gam. And look at Tello's being under pressure on Zeiss Mays off. And look at this already. There's oh, almost a bit of action there. It's full banger and Lionheart. It's a Lionheart really showing the courage of a Lionheart as he goes tooth and nail fighting with full banger even a quarter away through this race and the action has been unparalleled so far and already the drivers have got to try and keep a lid on it there is so much adrenaline out there right now they've just got to calm themselves down get yourself in the zone and see what happens as right now four banger again coming under a lot of pressure and that was almost a move there by Lionheart but he's gone too wide and it wouldn't surprise me if Crouch HMF is going to try and cut underneath it. indeed he does but the doors quickly and swiftly shut and he's trying to force a new one and a bit of a nudge and that could have ended horrifically luckily both drivers saw sense
But the two leaders, Locatello and Tatoon, are pulling away from the rest of the field at quite an alarming rate right now. However, they're still logged in battle. Zyzme is still trying to keep an eye of them at the moment, but doesn't want to get involved as of yet. Tatoon now breaks in very early, turns in nice and early to try and get a better run. However, it's not unfortunately enough. He's still quite alongside. And there is a big midfield battle as well as Nathan and Lionheart are followed as well by Crash HMF. Now those three drivers could very well find themselves in the bunt of the action very soon. We'll keep the camera on those guys for a while as well. As we're not too sure just how this race is going to pan out. But it's looking at the moment like Lionheart could be the man to take control. Still behind Nathan at the moment. But either way he's really applying the pressure at the moment. It's got to be said you can see there from those camera views. Again, a massive thank you to No Fear C for doing this race as Lion on the inside. Courageous move of a Lion. As Lionheart moves up into P6. But as I was saying, thank you so much to No Fear C for providing this broadcast again. Taking time out of his schedule to stream all of these races for you here tonight. I hope it's worth it. He's done a fantastic job and he really does deserve all of the credit. But as we look back through, Tatoon still applying pressure to our race leader. 0.5 seconds a gap now. Zaisne keeping them company with two fierce seconds behind. Zaisne P3, Bellinas P4. Four bangers still fifth at the moment, trying to pull away from the Nathan crash and crash as well. All those guys getting a bit close now, and Crash is actually applying the pressure a bit. But look at Nathan Alpha, he really wants to try and get that position back. It was this time last lap, where Lionheart stole it from him. We're almost at the halfway stage here at Sonoma. And Nathan as well, trying to get a lot closer right now. He's not able to do it just yet. But he's definitely applying the pressure. Watch out for Crash as well. He opens to the inside, thinks better of it. Nathan charges it into the hand bin. And Lions force wide. Courageous move there. A bit silly, but Nathan Alpha really does make that absolute beautiful. I'll keep an eye on uh, Lionheart and Crash as well. So just trying to keep an eye on what the rest of the field are doing at this halfway stage. It's been a very interesting battle at the front of the field between Tatoon and Locatello. The gap now actually increased by somewhat 1.1 so it's been six tenths of a second since we last showed up on them so still plenty more to come so as the race as we say gets through it's one of the main stages right now, this all important halfway stage where the drivers start to feel a little bit fatigued. It looks like our race lead is about to start at lap number seven, so six laps to go. And right now we'd be calling it the end of race number one. But the action's almost sort of settled down quite a bit now and the drivers may be realising how much of a challenge this circuit truly is. Sonoma is not the easiest of tracks to conquer. It's a very difficult, very challenging circuit. And that is why it retains such a powerful place in the NASCAR Spring Cup calendar. And why so many drivers vlog there every year for practice days. Also home of the Sim Raceway uh, Development Centre, the PDC, which still remains a vital part of the Sim Raceway brand. And we've already had so many winners. You can see it on your home screen of the Sim Raceway client. How many people have been able to fly over there? And trading their steering wheel for the proper race seat for a day to find out what a Formula 3 car or what a go-kart feels like. 
I'm sure maybe one day, who knows, maybe one of you guys will be there too. We've also got an event now at the moment, uh, the Evos, at this very circuit. So be sure to check that out on your events page. However, the gap between Tatoon and Locatello has come down quite a lot. In fact, it's now just eight tenths. So four tenths down almost as they come towards the end of lap number seven. Tatoon forever applying that pressure, it seems, at the moment. Got down to 0.6 as well. They're 3.8 now clear of Zyme. Gleaner's fourth. Four banger P5. Nathan Alpha P6. Lionheart in seventh. Crass in eighth. And Crass action sits in ninth position. They're keeping an eye on what the team's doing right now because he could be the man to really dictate the future of this race. Evidently has the pace to keep up with the leader as he got the pace to pass him. That is another matter entirely, but as they're going towards... Oh, I don't know! Locatello's got way too wide. I thought he spun it for a second there. Almost cuts off to Toon's front end, but somehow is able to hold on a bit longer. And to two now really feeling momentum on his side. Let's see what he can do. They approach a hairpin again. You can feel that throttle gently rising. Locatello really is to come into the pressure, isn't he? Oh, he always hits a pit barrier. That threw him offline, but it's given him a much tighter exit. That's for sure. So to tune in second there, doing a very nice, sturdy job at this stage. Can he convert it into a win? We're into the final quarter of this race now. And he's got the power down a bit earlier, but I think Locatello may just have this one locked up. He cannot succumb to the pressure. If you make the tiniest of errors here at Sonoma, this track will punish you greatly for it. We've seen it here today already. This track is not very forgiving at all. But Locatello is definitely reacting to the pressure. He's setting those lap times he needs to be. But the tune is staying there. The fans rooting for Locatello, keeping an eye on the chat as well. If you want to get involved in all the pre, post and mid-race discussion, turn over to simraceway.com and click on that bright yellow chat button. You can chat with some of the racers here that are racing today and chat with yourself and fans. Not chat with yourself, but chat with fans alike. So be sure to head over there. I'll be sure to go in and say hello as well, but... Right now, Locatello getting most of the support as the tune is reeling him in slowly but surely. They're going towards a hairpin for the ninth time today. Locatello still making sure to not lock those brakes. And that pit barrier is so deceptive. It wants you to take as much tarmac as you can. And again and again, it tends to in. Again and again, the drivers have to stay away. Locatello did have a tiny mistake there going into the final corner. But as they come down the main straight again... Zyme's staying with them as well. Still only two seconds adrift. A bit further down the field, Crash and Lionheart are starting to have a little war between those guys as well now. So we'll have to try and keep an eye on that for you as the races wear on. But look at Tatoon and Locatello. Five tenths of a second. The slightest mistake is going to turn this race around. And there goes Locatello off. And that could be the difference. It's not a lot. It's a two goes a little bit wide. But what a race this is turning out to be so far as the tune still applies the pressure. Locatello holding on with absolutely everything he has right now. Lionheart and Crash still want to be close together, but the eyes all on the back of what has been an enthralling battle. And now look at Tatoon, he wants a bit of the action. How long till he gets in there? A great corner there by Locatello, really did. Have that corner hooked up perfectly, but Tatoon is on the prowl. He's hunting his prey. How long until he gets the meal? Oh, he's got a bit deep, he wants to cut back. And he couldn't quite get it. But Tatoon is the prey. He's the cheetah lurking in the grass, stalking down the zebra slowly but surely, waiting 
until the Zebra makes a mistake. One crucial error, and then it will pounce and try and catch it, giving Locatello a lifeline to get away. Question is, can he take it or no? Will it be first or second? It could be second. The Toon's getting so close now after a mistake there. This could be the gap he needs. But still, Tatoon cannot capitalise. Penultimate lap. Locatello with everything he has. And he goes to the outside again. This is so close. The first attempt he's had. He's sweeping it. He's made a bit of contact. Locatello holds on with everything he has. My goodness me. Exime's there as well. Look at Exime. Where has he come from on the inside? This battle has changed course completely. This is exactly what Locatello needs as they go side by side. Exime's in second. Exime forces his way into second place. Wow. Exime is on the hunt and that's exactly what Locatello needs. He knows he's quicker. He was six seconds quicker at one stage. He's got himself now a massive two seconds. May not seem like a lot, but in this gap at this stage, it seems like... Locatello may have just had the saving grace he needs. Exime, though, still only 1.2 away. This could not get more entertaining. Lap 12 of 12, about to get underway. Locatello from Exime, from Tatoon. Bellina to the sturdy fourth. Still got a bit of a battle there as well. That was a very wide crash HMF there as he tries to... Bring himself back up to line half 88. This is the final lap. Keep it going. But as Locatello gets himself 1.1 seconds away, I think he could be safe. He goes over the apex a bit there. He's feeling the pressure. He's gone a bit wide. Exime is there. Ready? Oh, no. The gap has come right down. Exime's there for a move. And Locatello slams that door shut and puts a padlock on it. Oh my god, this is going to be a very close ending. Could the underdog excise me in his first Sunday race off? Take away from Locatello what will be a supreme victory. A few corners to go. He's in the draft. This is going to be incredible. What can Exiles do? He's got to be wide. He's got way too wide. He smashes through the 100 meter board. That could be it. Sign seal delivered. I think Locatello may have just got this one. He'll be close in the slipstream. But it's got to be Locatello. He wins. He wins at Sonoma. Despite everything, Locatello is the winner. Second is Exiles me. Third place is Tatoon. Fourth place will be Bellinas. Fifth place is going to be Four Banger. Sixth place, Nathan Alpha. Seventh, Lionheart 88. And look at that side by side cross action and crash. It's not over yet. I think Cross is going to get it just. Minuscule there. Cross and Crash get seventh and eighth. Exiles in ninth. And 10 is going to be KKND. Wow. My goodness me. I think I may have just destroyed my voice box. The best part is as well, we've still got another two races to go. What an absolutely brilliant race. A massive, massive well done to Locatello. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Congratulations to everyone who finished the race. We will see you very shortly for the penultimate race in this Sunday race off. It can only get better. And if that's the case, we're going to be in for a cracker. See you then.